Hello, good morning. Welcome. I'm Maria Amundsen. I'm general manager of Edelman's Silicon Valley office. It's absolutely appropriate for a gathering of public sector, private industry, and local government to come together and work on challenges, to meet needs, and to build community. So we are lucky to have him as our mayor. We are lucky to have him here today. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Chuck Reed, Mayor of San Jose. And so what makes us different about the engagement of private sector people in the city of San Jose and Silicon Valley companies is that we are engaging them at their highest talent level. So I always wondered, is there some way I could get that PhD over there who's picking up litter to do something a little extra with it? There is a huge opportunity here to engage our people in ways we've never done before. With that, I want to introduce Carol Coletta, who's here from Miami. We appreciate her coming out for this. Uh, and this is not the only time she's been out. She's been very much engaged in this project. We appreciate the Knight Foundations. This is just one of many examples of their help in our community, which we appreciate very much. Knight Foundation is invested in the long-term success of San Jose and its other communities. If we had a talent partnership in every one of our communities, we believe our communities would be much stronger. Uh, let me uh, introduce Carl Gardino, the CEO of the Silicon Valley Leadership Group. We're very excited about this partnership. It was an easy decision when Senator Mayor Chuck Reed came to the members of the leadership group with this kernel of an idea that if we could partner and bring the brain power rather than just the brawn power of Silicon Valley's workforce to the needs of our communities, that we could make these even more effective and efficient partnerships to value our communities. So it was bronze and brains. As the mayor said earlier, we love Habitat for Humanity. We love Second Harvest Food Bank and putting groceries together. That will continue. Yet at the same time, wouldn't it be even more effective for our cities to operate efficiently and effectively if these bright, talented engineers looking for ways to contribute with the limited free time that they have and be at work in San Jose, in Santa Clara, in Fremont, and hopefully numerous other cities throughout our region. But every spear needs a tip. And we have found a new tip of this spear. Will you give a great Silicon Valley welcome to our new executive director of the Silicon Valley Talent Partnership, Leah King. So my name is Leah King and I am the Executive Director for Silicon Valley Talent Partnership. My board have entrusted me to prove the concept of talent partnership to build better cities and stronger communities. When the opportunity came to run Silicon Valley Talent Partnership, I really considered it a mission and a calling. I stand on the shoulders of giants. To create a Silicon Valley talent partnership takes a great deal more than to ask HBS to come up with a study or to get a FuseCore fellow and add hot water. I would say it takes an entire caring community. I would like to enable people to help to make a better community with meaningful projects. We have engaged over 80 volunteers so far. Volunteers have completed over six projects. And by the way, all the projects are listed on our website, svtpca.org. But the city of Santa Clara, we were able to bring together HBS community partner to help to do a marketing and brand study ahead of the opening of the Levi Stadium. And the other project is something that we all love because it helps our children. It is the creation of a summer reading app for the San Jose Library. So without further ado, I'd like to call up Joe Warren, who will tell you a little bit more about the actual case study and also about the partnership. Well, I'm here as the case study that proves that talent partnership works. Knight Foundation 
has embraced the importance of how community comes together to help um, and turn an innovative idea into a program with impact. They also help what was really essential to us to grow an organization to fulfill its mission to serve the community. So thanks to Silicon Valley Talent Partnership, we were able to create a public-private collaboration with eBay to build an online and app version of the Summer Reading Challenge for free. So since our reading uh, app, Summer Reading app launched on June 1st on both Android and iOS platforms, we had an impressive uh, daily average of 1,224 people downloading it daily for the first week. And we had a total sign up after the two month program of 23, over 23,000 um, participants in the program, which has surpassed all our previous year's participation. We're looking forward to continuing to work with Leah and the Talent Partnership to realize all of our other innovative ideas.